thank you to our sponsor, Pinpoint Technologies, your source for direct mail and telemarketing leads. Check them out at www.pinpoint-tech.com. We're going to basically pit winemakers against each other and see if we can get some exciting commentary on what it is that makes the Santa Rita Hills the Santa Rita Hills. We're going to try to draw out a little bit of information, what makes our wines unique. A number of our very independent, very opinionated winemakers have strong opinions on growing Pinot Noir and Chardonnay in the Santa Rita Hills and we thought it would be fun to put them on trial, to give the audience a chance to ask them tough questions, let them ask each other tough questions, and we've done it like a trial, and that's why I'm dressed as a combination uh, 19th century English barrister judge, even though I'm actually wearing a robe from an old wine society. And you've got these taste fins on there, you too. Know, they, someone said that that's legal bling. That's what judges wear when they're asked to wear bling, at least at a wine competition. We're going to start with Chardonnay, discussing aspects in the growing and the winemaking of Chardonnay that distinguishes the varietal in our region and ask some really pointed questions about why people are making Chardonnay here when there seems to be such a big focus on Pinot Noir. The next panel is going to be on Santa Rita Hills Pinot Noir and foods, how our wines pair up with foods. We're going to have various types of food to try with different wines, different wine styles, and, and see what people think about, about how these wines pair up. The whole idea is we're going to put a lot of ideas people talk about sort of when they drink wine on trial and have a judge and let the uh, people decide whether maybe Chardonnay should or shouldn't be oaked, whether that's uh, an issue, and basically about Pinot Noir and whether the winemaker is more important than the farmer, and we know the answer to that, don't we? Hey, i got a question for you both. If, yes. if wine is made in the vineyard, why do we need any winemakers? We don't. We need to drink it. Wine was invented in the, in, the, in the bottom of old stone cauldrons that they kept fruit in, and they found this fermented beverage at the bottom. They would consume it and feel a, a sort of a movement of their brain from sort of the mundane to the, uh, to the elevated. And I think that was the moment where wine not only took hold of human consciousness, but it also became something religious. But uh, wine's always something religious uh, to this guy. I think it actually began much earlier with um, alpha monkeys <laughs> who learned to hoard the fermented fruits for themselves. And uh, they took this fruit, they uh, bartered it for sex, and um, mostly they, they kept it for their own uses. And we're still doing that today. <laughs> uh, we're standing in front of this uh, barbecue. It smells fantastic. What's cooking? Oh, this is more than a barbecue. We've got a spit roasted top sirloins of beef. I'm roasting over some oak here. Going to go for about four hours. Right now we've got some hoja santa leaves, which is a cool Mexican herb stuffed in between each one to make it really perfume nice. Over there we've got some uh, maple and orange brine capons on these three big barbecues over there. Jeremy's whipping up heirloom tomato salad with some cucumbers and sweet red onion. Loads of different salsas. We've got a Chilean salsa called Salsa Pebre. We've got dried tomato pesto, loads of grilled vegetables, a cool purple potato salad with French feta. Shall I continue? Essentially, I mean, it's great food with great wine, um, staying local, trying to stay within the Santa Rita Hills, and, and just celebrating the area. The afternoon panels will, the first one will be on clonal diversity in the Santa Rita Hills and discuss the different clones and what people think about them, how these clones express themselves in our area, what kind of wines that they make or what different winemakers and wine growers believe these clones contribute to the different wines. And then the last panel will basically be what I'm referring to as our train wreck panel. We're going to have Brian Loring and Joe Davis, Mano a Mano, and Wes Hagen and Bruno D'Alfonso taking each other on, Andrew Vignello and myself. And we're going to talk about what it is in the Santa Rita Hill that's important. Is it the place? Is it the vineyards? Or is it the winemaking? What is it that distinguishes this area? And it should be quite interesting. We're hoping to at least get the train to leave the tracks momentarily, not necessarily wreck but at least uh, careen about a little bit and uh, have some interesting commentary on, on our region.